Mexico and Los Angeles, that border is artificial when it comes to boxing. And when these guys come up a triple header, Mexicans on the top of the card like that, they want to be the best fighter in that ring on that night. I mean, it's a great action-packed card. I mean, you got myself, you got Sula Ramirez, you have Oscar Valdez, who are great, three great Mexican fighters, three great Mexican champions. What do you expect on April 27th? Well, I'm training for the best Miguel Marriaga there is. No, I can't take this fighter lightly. Oscar Valdez style, how do you not fall in love with a kid? I mean, he's a go-get-em type of fighter. He's not afraid of anybody. They can say I'm a world champion, but for me, I haven't accomplished nothing yet, and I'm still hungry. You see these little frames, you expect a lot of punches, a lot of fast movement, a lot of hand speed, but the power they can generate from these little bodies with the right torque, the right correctly thrown punches, accurate shots, it's always amazing. I'm Jesse Magdaleno, he's out to prove that beating Nonito Donaire wasn't just a fluke, that he really is a legitimate world champion. Now that I'm world champion, I, um, I carry myself like a world champion. I want to be known as, as one of the greatest um, pound for pound fighters. Gilberto Surdo Ramirez, the sky's the limit on this fighter because he's already made history. He's tall, he likes to crack, he gets in there, he's southpaw, so he's somewhat of a novelty for Mexican fight fans. And, and so he really has a great opportunity to cement his career with a good win on the 22nd. It's time to fight, time to fight, time to give the, fight, the fans the, the fight that they wanted. Now we're very, very proud of this card because we have three world champions, the three amigos, who are getting ready to dominate the sport of boxing and the professional debut of a young man who will be a superstar in the sport of boxing, uh, Shakur Stevenson. I plan on doing what I'm supposed to do April 22nd, and I can't wait. Thank you. We're ready, we're more than ready, and we're very excited about the up and coming event on Saturday. Trained all my life, you know, to become world champion, and now I'm training to continue defending it. This I wanna be a really explosion fight, and I wanna come back stronger, and I wanna give to the fans the, the fight that they wanna see. I'm very excited because it's already, the fight's already here. I've been training since January, and I've been waiting for this moment, so I'm very anxious to get in that ring and put up a good fight. Okay, here we go. We're live on the satellite, and the coordinates go out to everybody around the world. The main guys are gonna be coming in soon. We're gonna have about 25, 30 interviews lined up for them for TV stations around the country. Phoenix, Chicago, New York, Houston, Dallas, Miami. Say hello, Chicago. Hola, Chicago. Hola, Chicago. It's like the last big push because all these interviews are really guaranteed to be on the news. What's next? Vice. And I'm feeling good. I was already training with fighters like Terrence Crawford. I sparred with him before I went to the Olympics. And when they, they do it the first time, they're like, wow, this is really cool. And then they kind of like get into it. This is a FaceTime with TMZ. I feel great. You know, I'm excited for this new opportunity because you know, I dream about these moments ever, ever since I was a little kid. Being a, my own main event, a pay-per-view card, and you know, I got to take advantage of this. I'm, very, I'm ready for this big test. My guys want to step on that scale, make weight, and you know, eat, <laughs> hydrate, and then ready to fight. We've been training for so long, now they just want to get up in that ring and, and showcase their talents. Step Up Center is the gladiator bowl. It's the best place to see a fight. It's outside, you get the sunshine half the day, it gets dark, and as that, that, that moon starts to rise and that ominous darkness falls over the Step Up, the war begins.